Okay, now that we've moved all our files and settings off of our Windows Vista computer, we've brought in our HP Touch Smart 300 series, Windows 7, and we're going to move our files onto this computer. After you plug in the, the hard drive, then the steps are, are very similar to what we did to get the data off of the Vista machine. Uh, you go to Start, and then there's the little search box, and you type Easy Transfer. And once again, there's and the Windows Easy Transfer. Windows Easy Wizard. Transfer is right there. It, it pops up with the same uh, the same screen here that, that tells you the overview of what Windows Easy Transfer Wizard is. You can just click Next on that. Um, it gives you the same options to use an Easy Transfer cable, the network, or an external hard drive. Obviously, we're using the external hard drive we put our right. data on. And here's the difference. Now we're going to choose that this is our new computer rather than our old computer. Yeah, this is the new computer. This is the computer we want the data to go to. And this says, have you already saved your files? And obviously we did already save our files. So uh, at this point you click yes, uh, and you, you look for the drive that it's on, it's the G drive, and then it's that same save data file. We click open, and then it's gonna start opening, and it says choose what to transfer to this computer. Uh, by default, everything will be checked that's in the file, mm -hmm. and we're gonna keep that default and then you start the transfer. Then it's transferring the files over to the locations that they should be. User migration gets put into the, the new users folder on the Windows 7 so that you can find your pictures, your videos, mm -hmm. your Word documents, anything that you had on the old computer under the documents hierarchy will be back where it needs to be. But hold on, what about all the programs um, that you have on your Windows Vista computer? So if you're going from an old computer to a new computer, mm -hmm. your programs don't transfer. This is only only all of the files and settings that are from your old computer. You, you're going to have to install applications on the new computer. Okay, so you want to reinstall. But the good news is that those save files from those applications will be brought over if you if you have them in your my documents. Yeah, your word, your word documents will will still right. transfer over. So when you install Word on the new computer, you'll be able to open up your Word yes. documents as you did before. Now, if you're doing the upgrade, in most cases, your applications will work when you go from Vista to Windows 7. Uh, it, there's not a 100% guarantee that every application will work, but most applications do easily migrate from that Windows Vista environment to the Windows 7 environment. Right, and one thing you should do if you find an application that doesn't work with Windows 7 is check the manufacturer's website and see if there's an updated version. Once this is done, um, you can eject the drive and you'll have a Windows 7 machine that is pretty much identical to your Vista machine. Just with Well, identical, identical in a sense of all the data is transferred. Correct, correct your operating system will still be upgraded. So it was that easy. Thanks for watching, I'm Andrew Edwards. And I'm Jake Ludington.